Well, we got a lot of work, which we needed, um, a lot of game, live situation work. Um, and again, I know I'm sure Coach Wilson addressed it, but us just trying to learn how to play with our tempo, um, find the ball, find the signal guys. Uh, so a lot of good, a lot of bad, but um, <coughs> overall, we're just learning how to, the flow of the game works. What have you seen out of Austin King? Um, Austin has all the tools to be a, a really, really good player. Um, now it's the mental part of things that we're trying to get him up to speed on and um, really just game experience. Um, you know, still learning the offense, still going through reads and progressions and things. But man, when he knows what he's doing, he can rip it as well as anybody. And um, just a matter of confidence and reps and, and knowledge and just continue growth. Is there really more of a sense of urgency from him, maybe just in the last week or so? No doubt about it. I, I think that he sees that he is just as good as these other guys that he's competing with. You know, he likes the experience, but he knows he's just as good. So yeah, I think there's a, a sense of urgency of, of, again, trying to learn and trying to grow. Would you say the same thing about Lego in the sense where if he knows what he's doing, he, he's got the skill yeah, set? 100% right. Once he knows where he's going, he throws it really well. Yeah. Again, we feel great about our quarterback situation. It's just a matter of getting those guys caught up to speed with reps, and that, that'll come. You know, we'll finish up spring ball here in two weeks, and then those guys will go into their player practices throughout the summer, and they almost do another spring ball season. So by the time we get to fall <coughs> camp, we'll have already had uh, tons and tons of reps. So every day we'll just keep getting a little bit better. Last year, receiver Nick Westbrook got, got some playing time. How, how much did that help him, and how have you liked his progress so far this spring? A lot. You know, he's already put on probably 15 to 20 pounds on his frame just in the winter, just since the bowl game. And he's come a long way. And, and again, as a young player, your first year, things happen really fast. So for him, I think the game is slowing down. He's bigger, he's stronger. We're trying to get him to play more physical. Um, but I, I think he's got a world of potential. And now, again, just a matter of taking the, the added strength and applying it to his game. Luke Timian was a guy who seemed to seize the moment down the stretch last season, had a couple big games down you know, the last couple, two, three games. What does he have to do this spring to kind of you know, surface and you know, get a fun role for himself? You know, he was a lot like Nick, that he just needed to add weight and strength and, and some mass to his body, just growth, just maturity, uh, which he's done a pretty good job of that. But he understands the offense, he plays fast. Um, so to me, he's one of those guys that can roll as a, as a one, as a two. Uh, I can put him inside, I can put him outside. He has a lot of value to our offense. There's a lot of versatility with some. I mean, Kimmy Patrick, uh, Coach mentioned he had a knee, but yep. but you have different running backs and even wideouts who can come in and running back or running backs that can split out. Is that something as a coordinator you value? Yeah, no, I think anytime that you can be multiple in, in formations and personnel groupings, that's going to help a ton. And, and for us right now, spring ball, we're just trying to figure out who can play. And, you know, we'll teach you the spots and the positions later, but who can play physical, who can take care of the ball, who knows their assignments. And then from there, we'll build packages accordingly. In terms of the quarterback position, do you want to have you know maybe two or three down for who you want starting by the end of spring ball? Or are you comfortable with it still being wide open? Well, yeah, we'd like it to be down to one or two by coming out of spring ball. But you know, that's up. The kids can feel free to make that hard on us as coaches, and I think they're doing that. You know, every day they're getting a little bit better, and we're trying to be slow with our installation just to give them a chance to gain some confidence. Um, but I think things are moving in the right direction, so we'll see. I, we have a long time until we need to make a decision. Uh, they've been slow on the installation on the defensive side too for a lot of reasons. Yeah. But what do you see as an offensive guy looking at them and like the scrimmage Saturday? You know that may be different from what you saw last year with Coach Allen being here. Well, one Coach Allen brings a ton of uh, of just energy and, and toughness to, to that to that group. Um, but just a, a, as an overall team, I think we're just trying to go back to how we play football. And Coach Wilson is going to build this program on, on hard nose and toughness, playing fast, playing smart, not beating ourselves. And I think Coach Allen's trying to get that through the defense. I'm trying to get that into the offense. And we're just trying to, to gel this thing together.